Uh, Mr. Daly, the Commission. Mr. President, Honourable Members, as has been said, Iran is a mosaic of ethnicities, mounting up to at least 40% of the country's population. Main ethno-linguistic minority groups are Azeris, Kurds, Baloks, Arabs, Turkmens, Pashtuns, Armenians, Georgians, Assyrians and Jews. They are largely located in the periphery and far from the power base Tehran. Despite constitutional guarantees of equality, persons belonging to minorities are subject to an array of discriminatory laws and practices. These include land and property confiscations, denial of state and parastatal employment, restrictions on social, cultural, linguistic and religious freedoms, resulting in human rights violations. Common practices include imprisonment for conscience, unfair trial of political prisoners, corporal punishment and use of death penalty, as well as a systematic restriction on movement and denial of certain civil rights. Very often, ethnic minorities of Iran do not get a fair share of the benefits of natural resources present in their region. For example, the water of Lake Orumyeh Basin in the Azerbaijan provinces or oil revenue in the Arab populated province of Awaz. The EU has raised these concerns at the level of the United Nations. They are included in the General Assembly resolutions on human rights in Iran, last adoption November 20, 2011, and the United Nations Committee on the Elimination of Racial Discrimination has also underlined discriminatory practices in the country. The EU does not take a selective approach to this question. The EU acts on the basis of its principled position and it has a keen interest in the preservation and protection of the rights of persons belonging to minorities across the world. Iran remains a case of grave concern. As in other countries, we are constantly monitoring all examples of repression and discriminations based on sex, thought, conscience, religious belief and ethnic identity. In recent Council conclusions, the EU has deplored the widespread repression of Iranian citizens, including persons belonging to ethnic and religious minorities. We have used and are using all tools available to raise awareness and call on Iran to respect principles of equal treatment and non-discrimination. This is no different from the way we act in other cases. The HR personally and the EU have issued statements, declaration on ethnic and religious intolerance in Iran and have undertaken the marshes on individual cases. For example, in June 2011, the EU carried out a demarche on Tehran, on the, in Tehran on the death sentence to four Iranians of Kurdish origin. The EU is also deeply concerned with the discrimination and massive oppression of the rights of religious minorities. Vice President Ashton has issued a large number of statements on the pre precarious situation of the Bahi um, minority. While the EU remains open to discuss human rights issues with Iran, including the status of persons belonging to minorities, it has decided to, on targeted restrictive measures against individuals deemed to bear direct or indirect responsibility for repression. 78 individuals are now on the EU human rights sanctions list for violations in Iran. Thank you very much, Commissioner Dali. To wind up the debate, take place after the end of the following debate. Now we have a debate on the situation of ethnic minorities in Iran. We'll start with the authors of the text. Mr. Pashke is first for one minute. Thank you, Chairman, Commissioner. Iran political representatives have had uh, problems with respecting internationally acknowledged human rights uh, in the long run. Ethnic minorities uh, suffered. Our appeal to Iranian authorities in order to respect the rights of minorities to use their own languages in communication in private and also in public and to allow minorities uh, 
to practice their religion and to stop discrimination uh, and persecution of min minorities is a very important one. It is important because even though the arrogant uh, Iranian administration doesn't do any changes today, they know that Europe is watching and the whole world is watching and they will know that in future they'll be hold, held responsible for their arrogant minority policy. Thank you. President. This is a worrying subject, M minorities in Iran. The situation is very serious and it's getting worse. It's much worse though, as I said, if you are in an ethnic minority, you can end up in prison on a long sentence and you live under worse conditions than the majority of the population. The justice system is completely biased against ethnic minorities women from ethnic minorities are even treated even worse than women are treated generally in Iran and the quality of schools in ethnic minority areas is much worse than normal schools in Iran so it's all very very worrying to this one should add we want of course to call on Iran to put an end to these practices and change the treatment it meets out to ethnic minorities although of course we have very little hope that the Iranian government will listen. What's important is that the Iranian government at least think about what it's doing and thinks about the wind that it is sowing with these practices. The Iranian regime is sowing the possible whirlwind for the future as it ignores the rights of ethnic minorities in Iran today. One day I feel that they will bring down this government. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank Thank you, President. The Iranian population is made up only 50% is Persian, and the other 50% um, is made up by other ethnic minorities. Uh, the United Nations body, anti discrimination body, has already noted the fact that there is marginalization of the minority groups, and there are several the Ahabs, the Azeris, Balochs, Kurds and Turks, Turkmens. The, the Arab Awazi group is a very small uh, minority group. It's just a tiny fraction of the minority problem. Now this group, the Awazi Arab group, annual um, uh, protest in April. In 2011 the protest uh, led to 15 deaths and several injured. This was reported on, on Twitter and Facebook. So what we're talking about in the resolution is the case of six Awazi prisoners. These prisoners are awaiting trial. It's very difficult to get reliable information on the case. The only source is uh, social networking sites. But I think it is right that we should name them and that we should call on them to be um, receive a fair trial is um, an important point to make. Thank you, Mrs. De Kaiser. Next up is Mrs. Schlacker for one minute, one and a half minutes. Commissioner and colleagues, this House highlights the situation of ethnic minorities specifically today. Minorities in Iran continue to be discriminated against and harassed. Peaceful demonstrators are in prisons imprisoned after trials that do not meet any international standards and the treatment of prisoners in Iran is well known across the world for its harshness. Torture, rape and executions are common practice, practices we continue to, to condemn based on our belief in the universality of human rights, but more importantly, we urge the Iranian authorities to stick to their own commitments as stated in their constitution. Non-Persian women face double discrimination as members of marginalized communities and as women in Iran, facing laws that specifically limit their rights. We urge the Iranian authorities to free all activists who are currently imprisoned for their peaceful advocacy of minority rights and to respect the right of ethnic minorities to use their languages in private or public and in particular to guarantee education in these languages in accordance with the constitution of the Islamic Republic of Iran. Thank you, Mrs. Schalke. Mrs. Kohler is next for one minute. 
Thank you very much. And the membership of this uh, ethnic minority seems to have been condemned as a crime. The Ahwazi Arab minority is not specifically mentioned. Minorities only have a few seats in the parliament and they can't pursue their uh, own rights and traditions as a result. Thank you, Mrs. Bergia, for one and a half minutes. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, President. Their crime was to defend the rights of minorities, the group that they belong to, condemning uh, murders against their minority group. Yet there are so many minority groups, Baha'i, Azeri, Baloch, many others. And it's not a good thing to be a woman in Iran, uh, to be a member of an ethnic minority. Iran, where the number of capital punishment cases is in, keeps growing, especially being applied to minors. There are so many resolutions on the subject. We all know that the Iranian authorities are not going to do anything. Thank you, Mr. Wojciechowski, for one minute. President, thank you very much. It is very sad indeed that the Iranian authorities are, are resilient uh, to any forms of criticism, but this does not mean we should stop. The European Parliament should um, uh, repeat time and time again that we uh, will not tolerate uh, this kind of uh, behavior. Herr President. President, Iran is often seen as a monolith. It's a Shiite unit, but it is a multicultural state that others are being persecuted uh, without let or hindrance. The uh, uh, Azeris and then we have non-Shiite Muslims who are suffering, the Baha'i are suffering particularly as well. And this is why our task is to perceive Iran in its entire multiplicity. But one day there'll be a free Iran with many peoples, multi-ethnic in, uh, in diversity, and they'll be able to live in freedom as our partners. Change in Iran will probably come from within the country. But we should use the opportunity of empowering the democratically minded Iranians to speed up the process. There are obstacles in the way, placed in the way of people trying to find out information about their minorities because human rights defenders aren't allowed to gather information in the Islamic Republic. They also prevent information from flowing freely. But despite all this, we can learn about the trend of things and the pressure on minorities is being increased in particular. We have been uh, seeing blatant uh, cases of breach of human rights uh, for years now in Iran. Minorities are oppressed, are harassed, people are afraid of being arrested and uh, killed. We have to remind the international uh, community time and time again of uh, this. We have to appeal to the Iranian authorities to have a, uh, an amendment to the Constitution that will uh, respect uh, human rights. Our parliament has postponed uh, uh, our visit to Iran uh, twice now already, and I think this is wrong. Thank you very much, President. I also believe that we should send a very clear and firm message to the Iranian authorities as to the need to immediately annul the death sentences pronounced against members of the Arabian minority. These people risk being executed at any moment. Thank you. Thank you, President. The very difficult situation of the minor of minorities in Iran is Thank you, Mrs. Yajewska. To conclude the Catch the Eye procedure, Mr. K Skinner will have the floor for one minute. Mr. Skinner. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Veronica de Kaiser was right when she said Iran was not a monocultural society, uh, although it is obviously a Muslim, Muslim republic. 
I can say, though, that as all the speakers have said, it is very dangerous to be an ethnic minority or a religious minority in Iran.